All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. And as you guys can see, we are on stage 500 of Omega Shenron's EZA. Now, one thing to remember, guys, is that uh, this Omega Shenron EZA and the Jiren EZAs, those two are much, much, they are not the same difficulty level as other EZA events are. So, you know, even though, oh, five, stage 500, you know, you know, I, I'm going to do a follow-up video on stage 999 as well. Remember that it is a high number, but like it's not nearly as difficult as other EZAs, right? Nowhere near it. So let's go ahead and jump in. Now, what I've been doing is I've been using a combination of just super int units as well as Secrets of the Dragon Ball category units because, of course, I feel like you know, this you know, the LR, Goku, Pan, and Trunks are definitely the ideal unit for this EZA event. So, like, if we look at the Secrets of the Dragon Ball category, there's a lot of options here that are good and could be good for free-to-play type players as well. You know, you have LRB Pan, who, of course, is incredible. Easy A Goten, very easy to obtain. I think the physical LR Ginyu probably could be solid here. And it's easy enough. Really, you guys, like, normal players only really need to go to stage 100. There's no, like, actual reward for going past that. I'm just sort of doing it as sort of like a, a challenge, right? You know, I want to get to stage uh, 999 here. Uh, Int Zamasu is, of course, really good. But here's the thing. You don't even need to do Seekers of the Dragon Ball category units. Really, any Int-type units will get the job done. And specifically, Super Int-type units. Like, in this video, like, I I'm, we're going to swap the team out a little bit. I'm just going to put random units on there, and y'all are going to see. Like, we're, it, you know, it doesn't, the team build, the team makeup, none of that really matters. We're just going to be destroying, absolutely obliterating Omega Shenron. You know, his health bar really has not increased. Uh, he really is just a fodder level opponent. Uh, now, number one, this Spirit Bomb Goku, right? He is the only unit that actually can break uh, Omega's damage reduction. But it doesn't really make that big of a difference yet. Uh, at Sage 500, it has not made a big difference. As you guys are going to see... Uh, I bet I think the the Goku Trunks and Pan uh, do pretty much always out damage the Spirit Bomb Goku. Although you know he of course is fantastic as an option. Uh, you know he is going to be very very good here because of the fact that he is you know a free to play unit. He's an easy A unit. You know you do have to give your own orbs to rainbow him, but that that's not really uh, too much of a big deal I don't think because he's good enough. Like you really can run that Spirit Bomb Goku on several different category teams, and he's more than good enough. You know, he works well on the Seekers of the Dragon Ball team that we're running right now. Like, he he works absolutely fine on this team, uh, especially, like, if you get the Goku, Trunks, and Pan, this is a joke because, you know, their leader skill, they give 170% and four key to Seekers of the Dragon Ball characters, and then they also give, uh, you know, uh, 100 I, I think it's a uh, hundred percent uh to super in type characters so you know they are able to just absolutely massacre yeah let's get rid of giru let's bring in i don't know this in vegeta right here uh, i will keep it just to the the rainbow units we got here but just like grabbing a bunch of random units basically and we're <laughs> we're gonna be just curb stomping right through here like omega is not really able to do big time damage uh to in type units at all so here we go here's Here's uh, the SSR version of Goku and Vegeta that your boy decided to hang on to. I'll probably start to do that more often. Like, if a unit, you know, does change at Dokkan Awakening level, I think I'll probably keep the SSR version, uh, you know, because it, it can be useful. You know, it, this is the exact type of video where I'm glad I did this, right? Because now, like, this is just a different type of unit to use. Like, that's the thing about me with Dokkan, right, is... Like, I know a lot of people might have, like, a favorite team, like, oh, Patara, I just love running Patara, like, people will run, like, Patara into the, you know, into the ground because it's so good, but me, like, I, I usually am always using different teams, like, during the four-year anniversary, I've pretty much just been spamming, you know, the Goku and Vegeta lineage teams, they, of course, are the new hotness right now, but whatever next category team we're gonna get, you know, I'll probably be u utilizing that team for a long time right there, like, you know, when in Goku Black came out, I used uh, the Time Traveler team a lot. You know, what's funny is, when AGL Metal Cooler came out, I did not, like, I, I have not used this team uh, at, pretty much at all. I, I think a lot of, like, how when I'm using teams and stuff does correlate to when the team is actually getting new units, right? 
So, you know, a category like the Pure Saiyan team, Goku's Lineage team, you know, Majin Buu Saga team, those teams are just, they have so many units, and, like, so many units fit under that umbrella, so, like, new units will come out, and boom, they'll be on that category, so I'll run it, because, like, when I'm doing rainbow videos, I, you know, I, one thing I do want to make sure to do moving forward is I do want to try and get them on, like, as many teams as they can fit on in videos, you know, you know, some int type units, you know, could still be really good on, like, Patara, right? Like, the optimal Patara team, uh, I believe, does have both Int Gogeta on it, as well as uh, Int Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. Both of those units are actually optimal units on the Patara team, right? So even though SCR Gogeta global players might, you know, outpace him now, it, you can still use Int Gogeta on Patara, right? You know, or, I don't know, maybe Realm of Gods, you know, is another place where you could potentially use... Uh, Int Gogeta, because UI Goku does give a buff to uh, Int type units, right? So, uh, you just have uh, a lot of different places where you could use a lot of good units. And then, this team right here, uh, like, I absolutely love uh, the two new summonable LR teams. The Super Baby 2 Artificial Life Form team, as well as the Seekers of the Dragon Ball team. The fact that they both leaders give four key is, it, it, it's just monstrous, man. It just creates these situations where, like, <laughs> you just... Key is not an issue at, like, whatsoever. Like, like th this LR, Goku, Pan, and Trunks, every single turn, they're at 24 key. Like, it's just, it's wild. It, like, not many bosses, even in, like, Super Battle Road, like, once they're getting up to, the, like, their 24 key super, like, they're crushing, you know, Super Battle Road enemies and shit. Like, you can't discredit how good... Uh, four key really is here. Let's bring you a Goku. Let's bring Super Saiyan 3 Gohan. Let's get ready you Let's bring in uh, Rage Trunks like just go back and forth between different units You know next next run we go through here. How about I bring in like Int Ribrian, right? Like there's just so many it doesn't really matter like even if these units don't have a defensive buff You know, they're more than capable uh, of holding their own here This is very very good. Uh, oh, this is gonna be good for uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gohan right here the fact that He's getting four key from the leader seal will make it easy for him to super attack. Uh, this is a unit, by the way, Super Saiyan 3 Gohan. I, I need everyone to not sleep on him because he is still absolutely incredible. If he gets a Dokkan Awakening, like, you know, maybe they start doing Super Dragon Ball Hero cards more often. Now that Global, I, I think, is very likely to get it. You know, we'll see what happens, but I think it's very likely Global will get Dragon Ball Hero cards soon. You know, will they start pumping these out more frequently? Will they give uh, awakenings to some of the old ones? Super Saiyan 3 Trunks, Super Saiyan 3 Gohan, Darkness Toa. You know, could some of those cards get Dokkan Awakenings? Baby Janemba, who I actually did rainbow Baby Janemba. I'll have a video out for him uh, very soon. I actually got to do some more videos with that Super Baby 2 team. You know, I got to do uh, the rainbow video for his TUR. Uh, I, I, you know, Baby Janemba. And then I have another surprise uh, baby unit in store that I want to do. Uh, some stuff with, you know, there's just a lot. Uh, okay, so this is going to be a bad turn for our boy Rage Trunks here. Uh, because, you know, there's just so many uh, rainbow key spheres on the, on the like, field. That's the only thing. This Int Spirit Bomb Sword Trunks, he really, like, he's in the, the bottom of the barrel with, like, look at that. <laughs> he's at the bottom of the barrel with some other Dokkan Fest, like uh, Super Saiyan 3 Broly. Uh, you know, that Spirit Bomb Sword Rage Trunks. Like, they're, like, that Trunks is, like, it, he just can't do a lot. Like, it's just that simple. I mean, he can create int-type orbs. Like, that's about it. You know, that that Trunks is good specifically just to create int orbs so, like, LR Gohan or LR Super Vegito can get him. But, like, we almost, you know, definitely not going to give him that race Trunks. He certainly does not need it. Yeah, let's bring Ribrian. Whatever. Sure. Might try bringing that Imp Beerus. Might try bringing Imp God Goku. Just constantly switching up the team here. I mean, that's... I feel like even at stage in 999, uh, specifically, you know, what units we're exactly bringing probably aren't going to be the biggest deal, right? We'll probably pretty much be able to use, like, whatever we want. These units are linking up really well, so it's making it very easy to do this. Like, just... <laughs> this... Like, you guys... Can you see how good this team is? Like, these leader skills that give out, like four key it's 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 massive it's really good that's why like you know many times in dokkan battlefield videos uh i'll use like lr goten and trunks 
instead of Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, like, as a uh, sub-leader skill. And oftentimes, I'll have comments of people saying, like, oh, why, why would you use Goten and Trunks, who only give 100% compared to Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, who gives 120%? That's because I value the extra key more than I do the 20% in stats. Unless it's, like, a, a showcase video where I'm specifically trying to see, like, okay, what's... You know, what's this unit's sort of max potential right here? Yeah, at that point, I'll go for the extra stats. But, you know, just going through, like, Dokkan Battlefield or something like that. Oh, there we go. We got the five Rainbow Key Spheres. Again, remember, it, you know, for some units like SCR Gogeta, uh, you're not going to see that very often, or Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku. But for, like, that Spirit Bomb Goku or LR Gogeta or LR Vegito, you know, since they get extra keys uh, from Rainbow Spheres, you will see uh, five Key Spheres happen, you know, every once in a while. Uh, same with the LR Super Saiyan Force. Uh, they also will be able to get, uh, you know, several lines uh, of Rainbow Key Spheres. So I figure we'll go ahead and probably... Is that a data download? Uh-oh. <laughs> Hold on, Akatsuki, Bandai, wait! <laughs> Your boy is trying to record, and they toss in a data download at us? Well, you know what? Okay. Is that okay? I guess I guess not. I was about to say. Yeah, well, looks like we're gonna not gonna do one more run. Data download time. <laughs> Here, let's bring Gotenks and Ghost. Uh, let's go ahead and bring our boy Beerus. Why not? And then let's bring I don't know who who's a unit we haven't really used here. LR Piccolo. I'll get him. Ra I'll get LR Piccolo rainbowed one day. Don't y'all worry. Listen, that rainbow for LR Piccolo is coming. All right. I grind my ass off on that tournament every single time it comes around. They're going to give me my copies of LR Piccolo. I only need two, and after that, your boy will be good. All right, so I do actually want Ribrian to get a super attack here, so we're going to put her in the first slot. Let's see what my girl can do. This Ribrian is actually going to be coming to global uh, very, very soon, by the way. Uh, she is the best leader unit for the Peppy Gals category team. Uh, she actually is a good unit, right? Like, I don't regret rainbowing her whatsoever. You know, she can seal. She can do some good stuff. Uh, I believe if she's on a Peppy Gals team, she does also lower enemy attack. Like, you know, the, she has quite a uh, few things that Ribrian can do that can add a lot to your team. So, uh, Ribrian is certainly not a unit that you do want to sleep on moving forward. Now, at the same time, I sh do not encourage any global players whatsoever to summon for that Int Ribrian. No way. But, you know, if you pull Int Ribrian as, you know, the your guaranteed SSR, the last card of the multi in the future on Global, she is a good pull. But again, uh, I don't encourage anyone really go for her. Here, we'll see if Android 21 can't finish this out. Uh, if not, we'll go ahead and have the Int Beerus. I would say Int Beerus actually is one unit who maybe I sort of uh, regret rainbowing. I don't, I don't want to say regret, but Int Beerus doesn't really do very much, right? I mean, you know, I could use him as a nuking leader, and that's pretty much it. So, there we go, guys. Uh, done you know, here. As you guys can see, we didn't really even take damage at all. Like, just very, very clean runs. Yeah, I could bring any random int units, and we're just destroying it with ease. So, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and grind up to stage 999. It'll probably take me a couple... I mean, this, this has taken a long time to do. It's not like this is quick to go through, like, you know, 500 stages like this. I'm grinding as much as I can, but, you know, I, when I get to stage, like, 995, you know, we'll do the video on the last couple stages. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch y'all next time.